Ormiston, Oregon, when Yakima is too liberal and Pendleton is just too fancy pants. In this little motorcycle movie, I'm going to be shooting here. Then I find a rusty anchor here. Then I ride under here. I'm riding in the late summer Oregon desert heat, looking for a picnic spots next to McNary Dam on the Grand Columbia River. Many Oregonians from larger cities talk down on Little Hermiston, Oregon. They say it's a hot, barren desert with water to grow green gourds, but not for swimming holes. They say if you visit your cousins there as a 10-year-old, you'll be shanghaied into a no-escape day of labor in the dirt, picking string beans, wearing flip-flops and a bathing suit because they told you you were going to the river. Yes, now, it's true. Oregonians talk smack about Little Hermiston. I will demonstrate how to cut a watermelon in half without a knife. First thing, why don't you have a knife? You should have bought an apple. The only important step in cutting a green waterlogged combo fruit vegetable in half. The only important step is to score the rind all the way around the circumference using a sharp rock or whatever you have at hand. Proper knife hand strike requires you to tighten your fingers together and construct a triangle with your thumb. Lift and strike. Then serve. Sell the toaster on Craigslist and enjoy. This anchor was sitting on the river's edge, propped up on the rock as you see it. I carried the heavy anchor single-handedly back to Salem by myself alone without any help whatsoever. I did it from roughly the middle to late 80s. And the iron anchor is really old and uh, too corroded for me to date better. It's yard art now. Brought to you by Jack Daniels Watermelon Punch. It's better than you'd think. Now, 90% seedless. Surprisingly, there are no destination stickers in Hermiston, Oregon. I figured I'll just get a watermelon. Watermelons have stickers.
So as we mosey back to Hermiston to check out the vibrant nightlife, I ponder what is the moral of this story? I believe there are two valuable lessons to glean from this little motorcycle movie. Number one, don't be an idiot, own a pocket knife. And number two, if somebody points a camera at you in public for a YouTube movie, there really isn't shit you can do about it. Thank you for watching My Little Motorcycle Movie.